Hey everybody, sorry, voice is a little gravelly today, I've got a bit of a cold going on. Um, I just wanted to show the contrast between where I treated the cool season grass this spring and where I was having spray air shoes and I didn't, I didn't get a, well I didn't treat it because I think part of my wand wasn't working, I didn't realize it, but um, there's a, there's a huge contrast between the two, a huge difference. So here's where the sprayer wouldn't have been working great. You can see this, if I zoom in, there's a lot of grass to it. There's still some forbs, but I also got a good deal of uh, thistle in here, which I noticed when I was spraying the cool season grass this spring that the thistle was already up, so I was, I was killing that as well. Um, this I sprayed in, I think it was early, right around the 1st of May, and uh, hit the cool season grass when it was about six inches tall with glyphosate and of course whatever other cool season plants were up would have got killed which thistle was one of the main ones um, there was a little bit of clover and I wasn't too worried about killing that because I knew I'd get a lot more benefit from killing the cool season grass and releasing the warm season forbs um, so I wasn't worried about killing a little bit of clover that just came up naturally in here anyway well, look at this so, so there's a there's a good deal of grass i mean we're dry right now so it's not nearly as green as it normally would be there's thistle there's a little bit of milkweed and that kind of stuff coming up but the uh the grass component really filled in here over the last year and a half because i had treated this area and released it with fire and it was full of forbs last year but now these cool season grasses have come back and they needed to get hit again this spring and they didn't right here and there's there's a real grassy component that's not doing much for wildlife. Well, you go one strip over and look at the contrast. So here's an area that's full of good warm season forbs, herbaceous plants. The only grass that's coming up in here is foxtail, which um, comes up later and doesn't start germinating until June here in Minnesota normally. But you can see all the milkweed. We got some prickly lettuce in here. Um, there's some goldenrod. <clears throat> yeah, there's quite a, well, I don't, I don't see any goldenrod right here, but there's quite a few different broadleaf plants that are popping up. And no thistle. Um, and the only grass is foxtail, which of course I could select for and try to kill that as well. Um, but right now the, uh, the herbaceous plants are, are kind of all competing the foxtail too. So huge contrast between where I kill the cool season grass and where I don't. And I didn't release it with fire this year and I'm still getting that great broadleaf response. Which is going to, there's some lamb's quarter right there. Um, well we got some Virginia creeper. Yeah, so this broadleaf response, this is food, this is good fine cover, and this is phenomenal brooding habitat for turkey poults. So if you target your cool season grasses either after that first hard frost in the fall with two quarts glide per acre, or after when they get to about six inches in the spring, you can really release a lot of um, good plants. And if you follow that up with fire, it's even better. So next spring, we've just been crazy dry here. There's no way I could burn. We've had burning bands basically since the snow melted. Um, but next spring, if possible, I'll probably hit this area with fire one more time. I got switchgrass pockets and all that out there I'd like to, to hit with fire. But um, yeah, that should really help this area to, to blow up again. And I'll probably do one more treatment on the cool season grass with glyphosate glyphosate in those strips that I missed this year and if there's a little bit coming here I'll hit that too because if you hit it early enough before the warm season plants germinate you can um, you can target these the cool season grasses with the gly and not affect your your warm season for response so all right hopefully you could hear that through my gravelly voice but yeah, it's looking great. This will only get thicker. I mean, this stuff's going to be chest tall, I'm guessing, here in the next month, as long as we get a little bit more rain. All right, y'all take care. God bless.